My wife and I, we made a trip down to Ocala this morning with uh, Rusty411. I know he has a YouTube page a lot of you guys you guys follow. We went and looked at the runaway campers that are built and sold down there. Um, the facility was a small facility. They were small campers. Um, but they were actually pretty nice. And the, uh, the people that worked there were, were <clears throat> really helpful and they were really nice as well. You know, they let me walk around and make a video you know of their campers when I don't, don't know why they wouldn't but they did and they uh, <clears throat> so what I'm about to show you is pretty much like a virtual tour when I was looking for um, this kind of information I couldn't find anything all I could go by was a few videos that people have where they were customizing their campers and such but I didn't actually get a, a tour of it I didn't get to see them look at them look under them I didn't actually see you know how they're made uh, they seem pretty nice um, really simple but uh so here we go I'm gonna list a few models and then I'm gonna list a few features that those models had and uh, then we'll get to it. here's one set up behind a Jeep and this is actually gonna be the model that so far I've looked at I've liked the best has a rack on the front AC unit roof rack this one here actually has the rear door with a galley and that would be a lot better for me. You can put your little refrigerator, microwave, and stuff like that up top. Still have room on the bottom to put other supplies and things of that nature. Has a tray that pulls out. You can set stuff up there when you're cooking or whatnot. It's pretty nice. These roof racks are a lot beefier than they look in the pictures as well. Strong window two windows on this one and door that opens up two racks ac unit this one's pretty nice i like this one and you can see how this one here rides behind a stock jeep it's a little bit lower so essentially that would give you a little less wind drag one would hope but yeah it looks pretty good i like this one here this is my choice so far Small enough to pull behind the Jeep, but it's still got a lot of options to build on. This here is a slice model. That's something you would pull behind a motorcycle. Definitely a single person. Uh, can't fit a whole lot in here. I'm not even sure of the size of them, but they're shorter. But I think they're the same width as the regular runaway campers. You can see inside there. Be nice to pull behind a motorcycle, though, and get out of the weather. Didn't start it raining at all. And here's another runaway, they call it a Millennial. I don't see much difference in it between these and the regular ones other than they have a nice premium wheel package. Stuff of that nature. Uh, it's nice Kobe's and all up front. Check that out, that's pretty nice. Okay. Here is the, uh, probably the largest one that you'd want to pull behind a Jeep. This is called the Range Runner. They are six by eight, which is going to be slightly wider than a Cherokee or a Wrangler. So I think the actual wheels will stick out probably probably about the same as the Jeep. It'll probably be exactly just as wide. As you can see, when you look inside, these they are a lot wider than a four by eight. There's a lot more room in them. So if you're a larger person or you're one that likes to really sprawl out when they sleep, this here might be a better option than one of the four by eights. I'm six foot three and. My wife's 5'10", so this here might be an option for us because the other one is a little small, but I don't know. These are quite a bit more expensive, but it's a lot nicer, so I understand why it's more expensive. And again, this one here is a Range Runner. It comes with the AC unit and the uh, shelf and all on the side, just like the other one. These are really nice has a hitch on it, has stability jack so you can level it out and all, LED lights, range runner, another range runner, looks like it has all the same options on it as that one, so here's a wave, these things are probably going to be too large to pull behind a jeep, but man they sure are nice, that'd be nice behind a, a regular size pickup, it has two beds inside, one converts into a table, and the other one's a bed full time with a shelf, Take you inside and look. It's got shelving, AC unit, table and all. 
There's your bed, another shelf up there. This one here is very tempting, but I just don't think it'll do very well behind the Cherokee. So pass on that one. But it's only 1,700 pounds, even though how large it is. It's pretty large for that. I believe the Range Runners are in the 700 area, and the 4x8s are typically in the 650 area. Here's a look at the underside frame. Sealed underneath the plywood is. Frame it looks like it's probably two by two tubing. But a few cross braces. It's pretty basic. It's not that bad. Probably be fairly simple to build yourself. I call this one here, it's called the Runaway SS Finish Line Edition. It's basically going to be the same as your other ones, your navigator. It has a AC unit up front, a rack. You can put a roof rack on it if you want to. It's one of the options. All the same options before. So here comes with a mattress. I'm actually going to crawl in this one to see how well I will fit since I'm six foot three. Huh. Actually, uh, pretty roomy. It's me sprawled out all the way. Like I said, I'm six foot three. Wasp gonna crawl in with me. We also have these nice locking doors, like on a regular camper. Dead bolt. Pretty nice. We're laying flat on our backs and when we're shoulder to shoulder. I mean it's a little tight, but it's really not bad. Definitely might be something uh, you consider if you're tired of tent camping. And all this will definitely give you a lot more protection against predators and things of that nature. It's not bad at all. Kind of like it.